Whether you have pain in your back or joints, surgery may not be the answer. Instead of the dangers involved in cutting out tissue, consider healing and rejuvenating the area with stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. The treatments that are available to professional athletes are now available for you. Watch the videos at jointrehab.com or call the Darrell Wellness Institute at 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Welcome back to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and this is where we talk about musculoskeletal pain. That's orthopedic pain. That's knee pain, joint pain, ligament pain, disc pain, back pain, neck pain, hip pain, knee pain, arthritis pain, carpal tunnel pain, tendonitis, stiff joints, dull aches. Give us a call right here, right now, 866 866- Eight seven zero five seven five two. Right here in the studio. Eight six six eight seven zero five seven five two. We're here Saturdays at ten a.m. Again at one p.m. And when you call the program today, you get Dr. Darrow's latest book for free: Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, subtitled "Regenerate, Don't Operate." It has two hundred and sixty-four scientific studies. I counted. So again, that number is eight six six. Eight seven zero five seven five two, and you might want to look at the website, which is www.lastemcells.com. You can email Dr. Darrow off of every page on the site and watch him performing the treatments on video. That's www.lastemcells.com. What do you think? I think I'm living it up. How about you? I think I'm living it up. <laughs> I think I learned it from you. <laughs> yeah, you may as well. You know, I have an affirmation. Affirmations are uh, phrases of commitment. And so one of mine is, I commit to joy. Mm. So every morning I wake up, you know, like other people do, and I'm like in a fog. And, um, you know, the negativity kind of sweeps in like, oh, no, my body, my, I have to go to work, blah, 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 I'm tired. And then I remember my affirmation. I go, I commit to joy. And then I fill myself with joy and love and energy. And I think that it's important for people to know, especially those of you that are in pain, that you have some ability to monitor how you feel inside and how you deal with it. Because way too many people come in the office and they feel like their life is over because they've got arthritis or they've got a meniscal tear or a rotator tear, neck pain or back pain or something like that. And I do work with people quite a bit on what I'm going to call the spiritual aspect of healing, which has a lot to do with putting yourself in a frame of mind where you create your own endorphins. Endorphins are like heroin in a good sense, though. They make you feel good. And you can create that. So if you're down in the dumps about your pain, uh, you know, it's worth calling in right now. Uh, The phone number to the studio is 866-870-5752. I'm going to repeat it for you. It's 866-870-5752. We love our callers. We would love to hear from you and see what it is that's going on. Because every time you call in, there are thousands of people that get to hear how to heal themselves without surgery. And that is sort of the white horse that I ride. <clears throat> I don't let my patients get surgery. And I don't blame you. <clears throat> I can't remember the last I can't remember the last person that I told to get surgery, even though they've been to, you know, three or four surgeons, orthopedics or neuro or neurosurgeons, who have said you have to get surgery, you have bone on bone or whatever it is. And I show them that uh, they're not really that bad off. I did have a woman come in yesterday, I'm just flashing back, who had, according to her x-ray, advanced hip arthritis, like end stage, they call it. End stage is another one of those words that, that, uh, I'm going to use the word, slimes you into thinking you need a surgery. Bone on bone is another term. And the sliming part is, you feel like you have to do it because someone tells you something to. You get implanted with the fact, and it's not a fact, but with the thought that you are broken. And the only way 
the doctors know what to do is to replace that joint or do a surgery. So anyway, this woman comes in and she's depressed and uh, she goes, I've got bone on bone, blah, blah, blah. And I examined her and I said, this joint moves so perfectly. It's got great range of motion. When I'm moving it around, it doesn't even hurt you. And she goes, no, I feel pretty good when you're moving it around. It's just, you know, certain things make it hurt. And that's why I went to the orthopedic surgeon. So we injected her. And I am very, very hopeful that she will never need a surgery. It doesn't look like she will to me. I'm not saying her x-ray doesn't look terrible. But we don't treat x-rays. We don't treat MRIs. We treat the body and the, pure, and the person. So many times what the surgeon will do, and look, I'm not putting down surgeons, okay? Don't get me wrong. I love surgeons. They do the toughest work in medicine as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's dangerous for the patient. There's a lot of side effects, and it's physically hard work for the surgeon. It's an exhausting life for surgeons who do orthopedic surgery. Many of them coming up through the ranks of becoming orthopedic surgeons are athletes because they're used to, you know, working out quite a bit, being on their feet, running around and doing all that stuff. Most guys who go into, into medicine will not become orthopedic surgeries because it's too tough. Orthopedic surgeons, to me, are mm. the Navy SEALs of medicine. They do the tough work. It's just that it's not needed in most of these cases. So we have to be very, very, very careful. So anyway, I see people all the time, like this woman came in yesterday. She was told she needed to have a joint replacement. I showed her that she does not have to, and I'm very, very hopeful that by using bone marrow and platelets, she's going to be able to heal up and do very well with just some injections rather than opening up the body and having a surgery that could totally fail her. I see way too many people with failed surgeries. And I've mentioned this on the show before. There is actually a diagnosis that insurance companies use called failed back syndrome. What does that mean? It means you had a back surgery and it came out bad. It didn't work. If there is a diagnostic code for something like that, that means it's happening all the time. Insurance companies don't make a diagnostic code up unless it's so prevalent that they have to categorize it. So be careful. I'm not telling you surgery is terrible. I'm just saying it's not needed. In most of the cases, it is done for. So the, the hour goes quickly. System. Please give us a call right here in the studio at 866-870-5752. That's 866 866- <clears throat> Eight seven zero five seven five two. Check out the website at www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. You can see Dr. Darrow performing the treatments on videos on the site, and you can email him off of every page as well. And so my question is, what else is going on around the office? Well, um, we do something called write this down (laughs) if you can't remember but i think you remember it's called the vampire facelift it's very popular around uh (laughs) october 31st (laughs) when the vampires come out no it's it's actually it's popular every day and it's very simple it's just injection of platelets or platelets and stem cells into the face very simple very quick and it regrows, just like I regrow tissue in the musculoskeletal system, it regrows the collagen in the face. So it makes people look a lot younger very quickly by growing the collagen back. Because as we get older, we dry up. All the collagen in our body dries up. People get shorter. Why do they get shorter? The discs between the vertebrae dry out and they shrink down. That's called degenerative disc disease. Now, for those of you that have low back pain and the doctor says you have degenerative disc disease, that doesn't mean you should have pain because of it. Don't get duped into that. Everybody's discs kind of shrink down as you get older, but not everybody has low back pain. But anyway, the vampire facelift is amazing for the face. Um, My wife takes care of those people and uh, we also do hair regeneration using platelets and or stem cells on top of the head. 
it's not going to work for guys like who, Nita? Well, your, fa- it, your favorite. No, Dr. he's hopeless. Phil. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Love him anyway, but, but you love the hair thing, anyway. you know, just accept it. That's yeah. how it is. Yeah. So, you know how I torture people that want to call in no and how. don't call? I knew we were coming to this moment. Jokes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the first one, Nita, is, uh, and don't think about okay. it too much. If you don't know the answer, just say it. No. Never trust atoms. Do you know why? <laughs> They make up everything. (laughs) Oh, my God. I was going to go all off into biology. Good thing you stopped me. Okay. You got another one? What is... Sure. Other one? Uh I have a whole hour's worth. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, please. Come on. You guys got to call because I'm getting tortured. 866-870-5752. Please. 866-870-5752. Please call now. Please call now. (laughs) So what's the secret to a good elevator? Uh, The elevator's running? It has to... Well, kind of. It has to work on many levels. Okay, I think uh, we're about to get a caller. I'm so excited. 866-870-5752. Now you get a free book when you call the program today. It's very important. Dr. Darrow's latest. It's called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Regenerate, don't operate. That means regenerative medicine is less invasive. You want to go with that first, see? So you can ask questions about that. Again, the number is 866-870-5752. And that's what we talk about here. And if you're in pain, chronic pain, chronic musculoskeletal pain or orthopedic pain, we like to say, do give us a call. Like maybe you have joint pain, ligament pain, back pain, neck pain. Uh, We had thumb pain today. We had lower back pain today. Uh, there's all kinds of pain. I mean, we age and things wear out, and that's how it goes. So, it, like, what, 30 to 40 to maybe 50% of Americans are in chronic musculoskeletal pain? I don't remember the statistic. You know more about that than I do. It, well, that's the, you know, that's the statistic, but I think it's really a lot higher than that. Oh, we just oh. lost a new caller. That's a shame. I'll oh. have to tell another joke. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I can take it. Yes. Nita, what does a house what does a house always wear Paint? to a party? A, a dress. dress. Oh gosh, I should have known that one. That's a good one. You did know it. That's you just right. didn't think That's of right. it right there. Oh yay, a call. Look at who did we you, have did you Irv hear? in Los Angeles. <laughs> no, I want to do one more. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey Irv, Dr. Mark Darrow. They want to do vascular surgery. And that's a question about the musculoskeletal system? No, that's a question about your your vascular system. I don't take care of that, but I'll answer it anyway. What's the question? So that won't help for claudication. No, I don't do claudication. Claudication means that you're having problems because your arteries are clogged up. And, uh, you know, you probably have other issues, heart disease and other things you know, high cholesterol maybe, although they're finding now that cholesterol is not well, really the cause of it. Well, you answered my question. So, but there is something you may be able to do for all of that. Write this down. E-E-C-P. E-E-C-P. And what you is, got it, man. What is, look that up. On, okay. Look it up, look it up on Google. It's a procedure where you lie on a table and you have... Um, compression stockings put on that go all the way up from your feet to your groin and they pump at diastole that means when your heart is at rest they pump all the blood from your legs back up through your heart they open up coronary vessels but they can also heal claudication in the legs okay that's the answer i'm going to give you it's not related to what i do but i do know a lot of little things that can help people and that is one of them i've seen people after heart attacks with dead spots in their heart that revascularize, and it may help you with your legs too. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you, Irv. We appreciate your call. Yeah, surgery is definitely not the first thing to do when you have claudication. 
And uh, I guess that EECP also uh, gets blood back to the heart, too? Well, it goes all the way up from the legs to the heart all around the body. A lot of athletes actually use it um, so they can go do their sport every day and not have any uh, pain because it reoxygenates everything, too. But it's used mostly for heart disease. Well, getting back to musculoskeletal issues, we're <coughs> waiting for your call at 866-870-5752 right here in the studio. That's 866-870-5752. You can speak directly with Dr. Darrow about your pain. And this is a big deal because it's this free. This is a big deal. And then I don't have to be dumb about the next joke. So I really need you to call now. I mean... Plus the- okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in a different direction. Okay. Here. Okay. <clears throat> so um, this question is about uh, <clears throat> shoulder pain after surgery. Oh wow. Okay. So um, this person wrote, "I have shoulder pain and tightness. 18 months after rotator cuff surgery. Ouch. Surgeon surgeon now suggests this is the second surgery that the surgeon suggests." Cutting the biceps tendon to relieve the pain. And luckily, the smart guy who wrote in says, I'm looking for non-surgical alternatives. All right? So, folks, get this. Rotator cuff tears don't always cause pain. Okay? Rotator cuff tear. There are four rotator cuff tendons in the shoulder that help move the arm around. And supraspinatus is the most common tear I have one. I don't have pain in my shoulder. Okay? I have a subscapularis tear also. That's another rotator cuff tendon. I don't have pain in my shoulder. Am I going to get surgery? No. What am I going to do when I have pain? What did I do when my shoulder was locked up years ago? I injected myself with, with platelets. Okay? I also injected myself with stem cells. Do I have pain now? Nope. I'm waving my shoulder around all over in front of the camera. It looks pretty good. Um, my point is this. Don't think because your image, MRI, X-ray, shows something that that is the pain generator. It generally is not. Be careful. Don't jump to a surgery. This poor guy's actually, this is a woman who wrote in. Um, after this failed surgery on the rotator cuff, now the surgeon wants to do a really drastic surgery by cutting that biceps tendon to relieve the pain. That's, to me, I'm not going to put the guy down, but to me, you don't have to go that path. You can inject the area where the pain is and usually heal the area. So we do have some callers here that I do want to yes. get to. So if you, if you don't mind, Nita, I'd like to go to Don real quickly. He's got a neuropathy, which is another thing that I do not treat, but I will tell you about it. Is it in your feet and hands, Don, or just your feet, or where is it? In her feet and legs. Your legs, from where to where? Uh, maybe from her knees down. Okay. I'm not sure that's a neuropathy, okay? It's not typical the way you're describing it. Have you ever been, uh, the two main reasons for neuropathy are excess of alcohol and diabetes. Have you ever been part of any of those two practices? Yeah, diabetes. Okay. So if, if you have diabetes, is it type 2 diabetes where you're just overweight? Uh, no, it's type 2. It is type 2 or type 1? I believe it's type 2. Okay. If it's type 2, then you're causing it by what you eat, which is excess of carbohydrates. And you're the one causing the problem if that is a neuropathy. That's all I'm going to say about it on the show because... Um, that's not something that I deal in directly. I mean, I can help you. If you want to call into the office and come in, I can help you. It's 800 300 300 800 300 300 But be aware, I'm going to ask you to change your food, and you may not want to do that. We're going to move on to uh, Dominic, who's got tennis elbow. We've got a whole bunch of callers just like every <laughs> show right at the end, so I'm going to move quick. Dominic, tennis elbow is lateral epicondylitis. It's the extens extensor tendon. Very, very easy to fix with platelets and or stem cells. Do you have any questions beyond what I just told you? Uh, 
Actually, um, I had a shot on each elbow. One is golfer's elbow. I guess that's the inside. And tennis elbow is on the outside. Is that correct? Yeah, that's medial, medial epicondyle. Yeah, yeah. You had what kind of shot? A steroid shot? Uh, cortisone? Yeah, cortisone. I, I've only done it once. I mean, it really helped. It just doesn't last okay. very long. So, and over time... I... Yeah, well, it didn't help. I mean, here's here's what it is. It's it's like winning the battle and then losing the entire war. Because when you get a cortisone shot, it actually destroys the tissue. So, yeah, it worked for a while in terms of working. It didn't work. Right. It just got rid of your pain. It's a Band-Aid. And it makes the condition worse. It comes back worse. And it's not something I do. You can go to just about every traditional doctor in the world, and that's what they're going to do. I know traditional medicine. I was trained at UCLA. Uh, that's the basis of all medicine is traditional medicine. But look, if your doctor doesn't go beyond traditional medicine, he's doing you a disservice. And cortisone shots, to me, are a disservice to people. Okay? Right. We're going to move on to Julian. Julian in Long Beach, Dr. Mark Darrow, your thumbs are bothering yeah. you. How long has that been going on for? Well, um, hi, doctor. Um, it's, it's, uh, I think it's from constant use, uh, you know, from the use of a computer yeah. mouse. But the bone between my thumb okay. and my wrist is a big, it, it, it's probably osteoarthritis. It, there's a, the bump is getting bigger and okay. bigger. So, but in terms okay. of the pain, uh, the doctor that I spoke to said he could give me a lidocaine injection. Now, the, the previous uh, fellow was talking about, uh, you, you mentioned cortisone injections. Uh, um, that's I wouldn't waste my time with either of those, okay? That's just my opinion. I mean, you're calling to ask me, so I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm not, I'm not the god of medicine, so you don't have to listen to me. It's just my opinion. Don't stick uh, lidocaine in there. It's not going to do anything except numb it up. For a little bit and don't stick a steroid in there because it's going to make it worse over time you'll feel great for a while but long term it's not a good thing to do if it were me and that was my problem i'd be sticking some platelets in there called prp or using your bone marrow to get platelets and stem cells and heal it up okay all right thank you very much thank you for your call jillian god bless you man so michael we're going to you next You've got low back pain. I'm going to give out our phone number because the callers seem like always to call in right at the end of the show. If you want to call in, it's 866-870-5752. I'm going to repeat it, 866-870-5752. If we get real busy, just call my office later, which is 800-300-9300. So, Michael, your low back has bothered you for how long? Uh, probably going on now for about four or five years it's you described it when you're talking to other callers it is a pain that goes down the right leg it almost feels like a cramp and then i just have to sit down then it goes away they did do an mri and i'm doing everything that you're saying not to do and that's the funny part about it i did get a cortisone injection i'm a 70 year old diabetic and boy did that shoot my sugars up and it didn't do a darn thing and so uh I'm thinking that maybe you might be the answer. Maybe this was a providential thing that I turned on the radio this morning. I hope so. I love helping people, and um, I like to do it naturally. I don't like to use drugs. I don't like to use surgery. So I think those things are not usually necessary. So let me, I mean, if, let me ask you then. The uh, Obviously, something's pinching nerve, but it doesn't do it all the time. If I, go I wouldn't, count, therapy, I wouldn't I count on that, Michael. It may not be something pinching a nerve. Go to the website. You can uh, ask me a question there, www.lastemcells.com, or call the office at 800-300-9300. Not all leg pain or arm pain is a pinched nerve. Thank you, Dr. Darrow. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Suzette. Write down this important information coming your way. I'm Nita Valens, and we'll see you next time. God bless you all. Living pain-free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Now that you've heard Dr. Darrow, you can schedule an appointment to talk with him in person by calling his office anytime at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Or go online to lastemcells.com. Again, the website is lastemcells.com. 
Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow is heard every Saturday at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. here on AM870, The Answer. Remember, to take the first step toward a pain-free life, schedule an appointment by calling 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Live long and pain-free. And thanks for joining us today.